All right, hey, welcome back to the Manstead. We're going to try to shoot a full video here for you guys. Uh, today, like I said in the last video, we're getting ready for a trip up north. Uh, we're going to be taking the Bobcat We're going to be and the mulch head to do some work with, with another YouTuber. Um, and, um, uh, yeah, so step one is uh, we got to swap out the, the, not the, the teeth on the mulching head. So if you guys look... Uh, we normally run, sorry about the sun there, uh, we normally run a, uh, what's called a, a knife, if you guys aren't terribly familiar. So, that's what a knife tooth looks like, right? Um, these are actually reversible, so as you can see that you keep the, you sharpen these with an angle grinder, and <clears throat> they dig in and uh, uh, chew up everything. Um, inside of the back of this head is, there's what's called a shear bar. Uh, <clears throat> that shear bar runs about an eighth of an inch away from those those knife teeth and uh, that's what causes the mulching action so oh, picking up this box here so we're going to be replacing those um, with what's called a carbide tooth um, and they look a little bit different so um, there's a carbide tooth for the uh, Loftness battle axe um, these are not sharpenable I guess you could sharpen them with like a diamond, but uh, you'd want to wear some respiratory protection and stuff like that, but they're not meant to be sharpened. Um, so what we got to do is, <clears throat> so we can reuse these things, we got to take all those teeth off and number them because they got to go back to where they are right now in order to maintain a balance of that, of that uh, wheel. So uh, bear with me, I'm going to get uh, everything kind of set up and we'll show you how we do this. Okay, we got all set up here. I got my oldest son, Wyatt, here with me to help me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change all of these teeth. We want to put the existing knives back on. Um, so with these heads, one thing that's really important is balance, right? They spin really fast. You don't want them to get off. So, so what we're going to do is we are going to basically remove one tooth. We're going to number it. And we're going to lay it out in a pattern that way. Um, as we work and when we come back um, from our trip and we want to put the knives back on we know where they came off of hopefully um, it's more important I think that the opposing teeth so on each side of the rotor you're gonna have one on the front one on the back pretty close to each other whenever you change one you change the opposite so I think it's gonna be more important that we keep those together so we're gonna zip tie those together um, which can you go grab some zip ties um that way at least the pairs will be matched up if nothing else um and hopefully we'll keep some balance uh, all right so uh inch and an eighth socket impact now these are torqued to 240 foot pounds so we'll kind of show you how we do one then we'll let you sit back and watch us do them all Start with one on the outside. All right, grab me the marker, Wyatt. It's on your ear. Oh, good call. All right, so we'll label that number one. Okay, now we're gonna lay these out. All right, so we'll lay those out such that we kind of have a picture of what the head looks like after we uh, get them all done so that way we can move through this a little quicker but still uh, not lose track of where we're at all right hand me one of the new ones now i'm actually going to leave the outer 
two rows, maybe three, as carbides uh, when we get back. Because um, I, I think I want to run a few carbides on the outside. Now these are fine threaded, so uh, they, they tighten up real tight. Don't cross thread them. All right, so that's one. Now we're gonna move to the wrist.
All right, so that's it. Is um, changing all of those. Only took us about a half hour. Um, let's get all those knocked out. Um, as you can see, once you kind of get the process rolling, it's not too bad. And this time took forever because we were numbering them to put them back where they go. So that's kind of what they look like compared to the knives. Um, and uh, these will shred a little less. Uh, they'll be a little less aggressive and a little slower, but they'll um, keep the rocks and stuff from destroying the, the teeth. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, push the, uh, the alert button so you get new video updates when we release new videos, and we'll see you next time.